using the schematic symbol editor in Tina, making your own schematic symbols. Using Tina schematic symbol editor, you can create new schematic symbols so that you can add your own circuit components to Tina. To create new symbols, you place lines, arcs, rectangles, and arbitrary characters with any fonts specifying line width, color, and area color fills. After drawing the symbol, you add and define connections to it. Start the schematic symbol editor of Tina using the Start menu of Windows 10. Tina schematic symbol editor appears. Now let's create a new symbol for the full adder circuit that was used in our Creating Subcircuits from Schematics Part 2 Macro in Macro video. Draw a rectangle as the body of the component. Press the rectangle button, then click on any point in the drawing area. Hold the mouse button and move the mouse until the rectangle is properly sized. You can easily replace the label by using the left mouse button while dragging it. Fill the rectangle with a color by clicking first the symbol to be selected, then the fill color icon at the lower left corner of the window. Select the color from the palette, then click OK. You can also change the border of the rectangle by using the object color icon. Let's not change the suggested border color. Now add the terminals. Select the desired terminal type from the terminal, toolbar in the upper left corner of the window, and move the cursor into the rectangle you just drew. Position it using the mouse, then click to locate the terminal. Be sure the small red X indicating the pin end is outside the body. Continue this process until every terminal is positioned. Use the Rotate Right or Rotate Left button if it is necessary. Note, the rotate icons are active after the terminal is placed and still selected. After you have positioned all the terminals, you can establish their properties by double-clicking on each of them. Change the pin name 1 into A in the Pin Properties window, then click OK. You should assign terminal names as shown above. Next, write the name Full Adder inside the symbol. Click on the Text Editor T button on the toolbar, then click on the Macro symbol. Enter the name Full Adder, then click OK. Click the Auto Calculate Sensing Rectangle icon to define the area where you can select the symbol in Tina. Finally, copy the new symbol into the Symbol Library with the Add Device button and by using the Save As command, save your .ddb file in your private or shared catalog folder. under the name Full Adder. Close the Tina Schematic Symbol Editor. Now let's see how to use the new schematic symbol in Tina. Open Tina. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. Type a name for the new macro. In our case, Full Adder. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the Open icon. Select the Main Tina folder. Then select the Macrolib folder. Open the Full Adder.tsc file. Press the Next button. The wizard finds the built-in full adder symbol in the symbol library of Tina. Our newly created full adder symbol will be at the end of the list. Click the Next button. 
and save the macro, full adder.tsm, into the default macrolib folder. In the new macro wizard dialog box, now the following message appears. The macro file is ready for use. It can be inserted by selecting Insert Macro or by pressing the Insert button below. Click the Insert button. The full adder macro will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. To see the content of the macro, double-click the macro, then press the Enter Macro button. The content of the full adder macro appears. Let's test our newly created macro in Tina's Digital Interactive mode. To do this, place three high-low digital switches from the Switches toolbar, one for each of the A, B, and C inputs, and two logic indicators from the Meters toolbar. Now select the Digital Interactive Mode with the narrow Select Interactive Mode button on the toolbar, and then press the Dig button. The logic levels of the nodes appear, red for high, blue for low. Click the switches to change the input states. The logic indicators will also show the logic level of the outputs in a red square for high and empty square for low. The half adder circuit works as required. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina, free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based multi-language installation free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.